a very good morning tone and all let, let's check the audio Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Panda Key Learning. So today we are going to see about webinar on artificial intelligence on demand technology. Okay. So well, well, welcome to Pantech eLearning. So I like to thanks to Manakula Vinayagar Institute of Technology. So regarding this wonderful webinar session on regard artificial intelligence on demand technology. Okay. And I like to special thanks to give special special thanks to our Department of Information Technology. The program is organized by Department of Information Technology from Manakola Vinayagar Institute of Technology. And then coordinator Mr. Mayapan uh, Department of IT. Okay, so I like to give special thanks to coordinator and Department of IT, uh, IT faculties. So thank you all for this wonderful webinar. So let me enter into the session and we will see about artificial intelligence on demand technologies. Okay. So here you can see before that we'll, I like to tell about Pantech solution, our Pantech solution. So we are normally origin from 2004 and branches, seven branches and then we have 100 plus employees. Seven branches not only in Tamil Nadu, we have like Andhra Pradesh and Telangana and then it is like that we have different type of states and then uh, we got our conducted 1200 plus workshops for regarding about recent technologies like uh, AI, machine learning, deep learning and adaptive developments and all. So not only for students we have faculty development program also FDP for faculties also we have okay. So our main aim is like R and D department for industry projects. So we have separately R and D department for industrial projects and have and I have uh, faculty development programs we are conducting and hands on training workshops and then internships and in plan training and then short term courses, value added courses, academic projects and then customer -stood design service and state of R and D. Okay. So we are main focusing these fields, okay, and then we are focusing on like CSE and IT domains also like uh, B Tech students. Okay, so we are providing a we are providing a projects like EC and Triple domains related to IoT, Internet of Things, Artificial Intelligence, and then Yamada system, VLSI, FPGA, TMS processor related those processors. And then image processing and open CV, network simulation, power electronics and electric vehicles. Then in other hand we have CS and IT domain. So we are focusing on big data, data analytics, internet of things, Python, Android, Kotlin, and our application development, and then cloud computing and mobile computing. So this and all we are covering uh, like for B.Tech students and both M.Tech and M.C.A. and all, okay. 
so the next one we will enter into the session okay so about artificial intelligence on demand technologies so these are the topics we are covering like introduction of artificial introduction to artificial intelligence and types of ai and then types of ai agent and then platform in ai and then conclusion okay so introduction to artificial intelligence okay so first of all uh, the whole world will know about ai right so if you are computer science field not only in computer science field if you are uh, if you are well known person means definitely we know about ai artificial intelligence okay so it's a new technology it's uh, it will grow fast okay it's growing very fast and then it will be getting to uh, in getting to implement a new technology day by day okay so each and every day we are focusing into some other new technologies te technical related and technology related okay we are uh, doing okay so it's a future okay not only ai is the future technology so which can be implemented with us okay normally if you have any tech, uh, new invention we are not able to use that as a uh, we are not able to use just we can uh, we can see but this is the technology we can feel okay we can feel with our own ai so artificial intelligence how means for example we have chatbots applications and like ai chatbots okay we have different type of ai chatbots based on that ai chatbots we can we have some companion right so like this we will use it and feel it okay ai technology is like that only okay so what is the main name of ai is machine want to learn okay so machine want to learn from the data and then it will be uh, work as a human okay so for example if you have a data regarding about any field okay so any field means like weather related data means the weather related data from uh, sensors we are collecting the data and we are passing to the cloud then based on that cloud we are doing some process of the data then we are training those data to the machines that is machine is nothing but algorithms okay so algorithm will be learned from the past data that weather reports data then it will be try to predict the future okay how uh, the day will be there whether it's a sunny day or whether it's a rainy day like that will be give some prediction result okay so not only for weather reports we have each and every our android mobile phones or ios any mobile phone it's based on ai technology only okay like machine learning and mobile phone it's based on ai technology only okay like machine learning and deep learning subset of machine learning and deep learning okay so that's why ai is a leading leading technology nowadays okay so here you can see uh, for last 20 years the hum uh, we will not uh, think about so, sorry the next 20 years we will think about some different changes compared to previous 300 years okay so the, why because because of ai only okay so because of ai ne within next 20 year we will achieve some uh yeah yeah completely for example uh, according to the research okay so it's just a general information like according to the research research in 2025 uh, we will have like 175 billion tb gigabyte okay so billion tb gigabytes data we will have okay according to the research so showing and then if we copy those data in dvds means okay so 22 times we can uh, we can circle the dvds over over our planet okay 22 times so this and all that's why okay in, in now we are in 2020 within five years we are getting this many data okay this many data we are getting and uh, com and then compare the 20 years okay next after next to 20 years okay so definitely we will use uh, some different type of technologies and the technologies will be implemented with our human being body itself okay like that also it's 
uh, it will be changed okay after 20 years okay so that is the important thing and then we will we see some science science fiction movies right like uh, imagining imagination and, and forecasting and then like like some marvel movies we seen now so that under comes to happen definitely okay so if we build ai we will some of the things what we seen in our movies science fiction movies definitely we will get into that okay so first of all we need to know what is artificial and intelligence right because artificial what is the artificial and intelligence is nothing okay so artificial is nothing but it's a man made okay so the machine otherwise the software which can be made by a man regarding about some technology that is called artificial okay so for example i will made a one machine okay so like a robot i will made one robot means that is from artificial i made it. okay so that is from my hand i made a that robot but if i give the power to that robot to thinking power if i give some power to that robot the way of thinking and then way of action you need to do like that i will do i will train that uh, robot means that is intelligent okay so compared to this that is a man made thinking power okay so man made i made a made a machine after that i given a thinking power to that machine that is called artificial intelligence okay so ai is the power of man mario that is exact meaning so next one here you can see i already told you definitely we will achieve within us okay like we have google glass it's dropped but in fact and then like we as indian we have geo glasses also okay they are started to uh, develop the geo glass okay so and then we have we will, we will use mobile within our hand itself okay like scientific science fiction movies and all we seen now like that also we have seen and then uh, if sometime if it is a improved technology we improved lot of lot from ai technology definitely we will achieve like uh, robotic hands okay so if you are not ha- the the hand have some problem means we will cut the hand and then we will implement the robotic hand and then we will connect with the, our neurons brain neurons okay so this is the technology in uh, invented by a man who can uh, that technology can we we will feel okay we will use the technology but whatever the technology up to this the man invented is we can't feel okay like bulb or car okay within us we can't feel okay it's just a tech invention only but this is the invention we can use with our own body also okay so that is the first time human history technology is going to inside of us okay so this is the thing i want to tell you about this presentation and the next one data is the new oil yes so nowadays nowadays we think about tiktok right so we banned tiktok right but the one of the thing main uh, not only tiktok collecting the data okay so even facebook also collecting the data and some other uh, social media is also collecting the data okay so but data is the new oil okay so based on the data they will do some different things okay so that's why tiktok also banned in our india but not only t- tiktok now we can focus on facebook also okay so facebook also collecting our we each and every person's data okay they are uh, collecting the data and then they will use some other thing uh, for adding per person or they are using openly okay so and then artificial intelligence is the new electricity yes definitely because uh, it's a next few years definitely it will be bloom and definitely we will comes to know about ai okay so this one and then next one how we can implement of iot okay so iot is the one of the nervous system for ai because 
here you can see we have what are the things we are using in our day by day hab habit habituator that all are have right uh, cycling radio weight machine car aeroplane bulb okay keys so this and all actually what are the things it represent means we can use this Uh, data and we can implement a implement a AI technology. Okay, so for example, you can take uh, you can take like uh, uh, our smart watches. Okay, so you can take our smart watches. The smart watches we can implement and then uh, after taking a smart watches, collecting the data from the smart watches, we will use to plot the graphs how much we are running and how much we are. Uh, predicting the how much before the day before last day and before today so how we are running and all we can calculate okay so that is the use of smart watches okay and like this we can use some other different type of technology for ai implementation the next thing here you can see we have uh, from we started our using our ai in 1950s 1950s we have like and uh, turning said that so who person who invented uh yeah first first the person who tell to the world machine can think okay so alan turing is the person who tell to this world machine can think 1915 and we comes to 1955 they is born and then 1961 and then first first uh, like for working purpose robot creator like for example Uh, manufacturing the cars or some other things like that working purpose robots are first first invented on 1961 and then 1964 we created a eliza chatbot okay so eliza chatbot is mostly used for like uh, human interaction human human interaction and the 1966 we invented and like and the person from stanford purpose invented some robot okay so and then ai winter ai winter is nothing but after 1960 not we achieve like that they think but in 1997 again it's written back with deep blue okay deep blue is the chess game invented by ibm uh, deep blue means nothing but it's a chess game it's a game okay so based on the players playing by the Uh, during chess playing time it will be see see the play way of playing and then it will be started to learn from them and then uh, now we are playing as a chess games and all okay so deep blue game and then 1998 is met and then 1999 we have sony launches the first consumer robot 1999 and 2002 the roomba okay the first mass product like that is the we can using using a we can clean our rooms okay that is vacuum cleaner the first was invented by 2002 and 2011 2011 again watson's watson studio the watson is nothing but uh, it's like a robot okay so based on that logo it's invent it first uh, it win a prize 1 million prize you during Uh, television competition quiz competition and then 2014 uh, and then 2006 14 we created alexa okay amazon alexa and 2016 we entered into the chatbot okay so the chatbot is like ta tai okay so the chatbot and then 2017 alpha go okay so alpha go it's a google ai what is the difference between Uh, chess game blue deep blue means it's a chess game but alpha go is it's our own game only like we have two power 117 moves in that game we have okay for example if we take if we take a chess game we have some limited amount of moves okay totally according to the black and white square box we have some limited amount of moves but if we take an alpha go game so there we have two power 117 possible movement we can do okay so that is in this whole universe if you count uh, each and every planet means it will be not composted okay so two power 117 moves are there so it's a chinese game uh, like normally they called as a go game but 
the google ai is uh, google ai is learned so then that's why they called as alpha go okay so this is that ai timeline chart and then why we are using art artificial intelligence okay so for example we need to face the real world problems real world problem means like like some other uh, new covid 19 a novel covid 19 and this is our introduced this is our spreader now okay but we don't know about the vac vaccine so like this if you want to um, if you want to predict the real world and then what are the um issues we have and then it will be give some re results okay you can do like this and all. so like for not only for like that like health issues we have marketing uh, marketing means like digital marketing so if you are uh, doing some other process with your organization okay so you can do some plotting the graphs and you can analyze which day you are uh, your product is, product is selling okay like that we can do some marketing and traffic is used like that etc okay so and then we have chatbots like our assistant virtual assistant such such as uh, cortana or google assistant or siri etc alexa like this we have some things and then with the help of ai you can build the robots okay robots which can interact with our human and then it will be survival of human can at the risk then we have like uh, some other technologies like new devices or new op opportunities the way uh, uh, the for example nowadays we uh, introduce different type of technology in our mobile phones right so that and all it's a one path of ai only based on the ai path we implementing different type of technologies okay so that one and the goal of artificial intelligence okay so replicate the human intelligence not one thing it just to replicate the human intelligence only okay but it will not replicate the human work that is here one thing we need to mention and then it will be solve the task okay so some intensive task it have means it will be solve the task and then the intelligent connection of perception and then perception and action okay and then building machine which from task that recover the human intelligence okay so building a machines okay so it will uh, it will perform the task of human and then creating some systems like uh, things of it like explaining or advising purpose like that okay so these are the some of the goals we can achieve using ai here what are the com what are the compresses to artificial intelligence okay so here you can see first one we can use ai and that one we know okay next one philosophy so philosophy related and then computer science related like nanotechnology or processors or uh, some other computer related technologies and psychologies and then neuron science okay and biologies mathematics and sociologies okay so these are the things we can play with we can do with this ai here you can see the applications the applications of ai okay so applications of ai here you can see online advertising online advertising so online advertising i hope everybody will know like in our amazon or flipkart websites they are recommending na like that online advertising and then we have personalized user experience that one also we know chatbot and then ai powered chatbots okay and then creative analysis creative analysis means using the data you can analyze your uh, the company's detail and then we can you can focus on growth okay then web designing and then content generation and then content curation and then email marketing campaigns and then voice search optimization e-commerce okay so these are the thing we can uh, build with ai okay that is the applications of ai then here you can see simple explanation about how we can apply in robotics okay so robotics here you can see like designing and manufacturing of robots okay 
so we are manufacturing using robots if you are designing and manufacturing the robots we can interact like a human beings okay for example sobia robot okay sobia robot will be worked under the algorithms the way of training with that algorithm it will be give the uh, replay according to the task in which you are giving okay so that is the one of the example sobia robot and then machine mission machine mission is nothing but uh, it's called as normally in uh, open civic open computer vision or image processing so we can do with this process also like recognize, recognize the objects okay which object like it will be applicable in uh, cell, driverless car okay self driving car okay so we can use machine vision technology like capturing and analyzing and visualizing the information like uh, for example you can take it as a object counting or reading the serial numbers or reading the speedometer in your during uh, during driving okay if you are so if it is a self driverless car based on the speedometer capturing speed it will be more according to that way okay so that and our self driverless cars and then we have some other agents also okay so for example we you as a human being we can't uh, pass we can't see through the wall okay but as a ai it will be definitely see through the wall and then uh, we will check it whatever it is okay so that under machine vision and then speech recognition so speech recognition is uh, important because the way the way we are interacting with the machine is one of the this application only speech recognition application only without speech recognition we can't interact with the machines okay so this is one of the important techniques technology technology in ai field okay system control and navigation industrial applications and voice dialing systems this center okay and then we let center into the types of artificial intelligence and then we will see about what are the types we have okay so totally we have a ty- uh, types like narrow ai general ai and then st- strong ai reactive machine that is in type 1 narrow ai general ai and strong ai this one are comes under uh, type 1 and type 2 we have reactive machine limited memory theory of mind and self awareness okay so we have totally two type one is type 1 and type 2 so first of all we will see about type 1 what is narrow ai and general ai and strong ai one by one here you can see here we have narrow ai that is we are here now now we are here only okay in narrow ai types only we have that is dedicated for one task okay so we are for example you can take it our chatbot we are giving some task to that narrow ai then it will be give the replay so based on the task it will be give the replay then next one general ai it's perform perform like a human okay till now we didn't achieve this general ai and we have another one another thing super ai that is intelligent than human okay so we have we need to achieve general ai and super ai till now we are in narrow ai only okay so we for example narrow ai we are told you like x ray machines this and all then type 2 we have reactive machine limited memory and then self awareness so we have type 2 and then we will see about agent because if you want to achieve the ai 100% ai we need this agents agents is one of the important thing it will be play the role of ai technology okay so here you can see first of all you need to know what is agent for example here we have simple example about what is agent okay so in left side we have human being in right side we have robot okay what is the replacing of human being uh, in technology we need He, here we can see for example sensor wise we need for example if you take an human being we have eyes ears and other organs right that and all we can replace with sensors for robotics like using cameras or infrared sensors some other sensors but we have hands and leg this will be activator normally okay actuator is nothing but we can move from left to right or right to left or straight or back side like that 
for the actuators we are using here motors okay so this is the agent okay so it will be replace our organs and then actuators using some other tech uh, some other technology like sensors or motors okay so this is the agent now we have one agent that is robot like that we have some agents okay so like human agent robotic agent software agents okay and then sensors actuators and effectors okay so these are the some agents okay so now for example uh, you want to build an one self driverless car okay self driverless car okay we need for that we need some peas okay so if you want to build a self driverless car we need peas what is that peas means performance performance measure and then environment and then actuators and then sensors performance measure means we need some uh, data okay so we need some before data to learn the algorithm then environment we need some place to perform that action what are the action that self driverless car doing we need some environment and then we need some actuators actuator is nothing but um, if you want to rotate the steering left or right or you want to uh, put brake means we need some actuator for that right so actuators and then sensors sensors is for viewing the roadways and then uh, viewing the plan of, viewing the plan and viewing the uh, some of the information on the roadside boards and then traffic lights that and all okay so if we if you have this all four like p e a s we will achieve the self driving car okay so we will achieve the self driving car using auto autopilot mode we will um, we will assume those that those car data okay so that is the one of the thing we need this peas if you want to do self drivers okay so not only for here you can see uh, the exact information about peas that is safety time safety time legal drive and comfort and then environment okay now we know about that environment roads and other vehicles road sign and pedestrian and all and then actuator steering acceleration accelerator brake and signal horn and then we have cameras gps speedometer odometer accelerometer accelerometer and then sonar so these are the sensors and some other things we need to perform the thing perform the self driving car okay so here not only for self driving car we need peas we if you want to uh, do for agent like medical diagnosis agent or part of picking robot agent we need some performance like right? we need some peas okay so here you can see for first of all performance measure we need healthy patient and then minimize the cost performance issue and then we have a environment environment is nothing but what type of environment if you want to achieve medical diagnosis agent we need environment like patient hospital and staff and actuator testing and treatment and then sensors entry of symptoms okay so that one then part of picking robots we need some uh, part in correct bins that is we need some bins to picking the robot and then conveyor belt with parts and bins so the sandal used for to achieve the uh, medical diagnosis and part picking robots okay so we need this and this pes the next one we will see about the types of a agent now we will know about what is agent right so agent is a combination of both sensors and actuators so he, now we will see about types of a agent so types of a agent here we have like simple and reflex agent model based reflex agent goal based agent utility based agent and then learning agent okay so we have totally five types of a agent simple reflex agent model based reflex agent goal based agent and then utility based agent this one learning agent okay so let me see one by one what are the agent we have first of all we need simple reflex agent so here you can see 
if you want to achieve the simple reflex agent this is the architecture of simple reflex agent okay we need sensor some actuators okay so actuators nothing but based on the sensor data we will comes to know the details okay so we will come to know the and that we will perform perform the actions what type of action we need so this is simple reflex agent next one model based reflex agent architecture is this one if you are collecting the data in with that sensor itself what we need to do okay state how to the uh, word a voice and how what is the my action do in sensor based on the sensor also we have some act, some conditions and then here we have some rules for actuators this is model based reflex agent and the next one goal based reflex agent sorry goal based agent okay so here we need to do like same thing only but we have extra that is uh, like doing an action okay based on the sensor data it will be achieve some actions and then it will be move on to actuators so this is goal based agent and then utility based agent so utility utility based agent means it will be learn and then it will be save our some data to the past to somewhere okay so it will, it will be used some time utility based agent and then learning agent okay so learning agent it's like a, our algorithms okay so we are using some other different type of algorithms right so like yeah, machine learning algorithms or deep learning algorithms and all so this under comes under learning agent okay based on the feedback it will be learned okay so this is the types we have agents and the next one the platform which are all used for ai technology okay what are the platform available uh, in ai technology and then we will see okay so the first one the first plot okay so before that we will see about uh, uh what are the platforms for if in ai platforms okay if you want to uh if you want to go with the ai platforms okay we have some different type of domains we have like first one deep learning deep learning uh, algorithms neural network algorithms and then simulation modeling simulation modeling is nothing but uh, like in a network simulator or network simulator 2 or 3 version we have some other simulation modeling also we have then machine translation and then social network analysis social network analysis like uh, analyzing the data based on the social network and machine learning and robotics internet of things image analytics graph analytics and then audio analytics visualization and then virtual person assistant okay we can achieve this artificial intelligence technology so here we have some of the platforms it will be open source only whoever can access those platform for trial version or for few uh, configuration you can access the data for example we have google ai platform tensorflow microsoft azure and then infosys vibro so these are the some of the uh, platforms it's uh, like watson studio okay so watson studio ibm so these are the some of the platforms we know okay uh, we know means it's f- famous one and familiar one to us okay so these are the platforms we you can build those technologies okay what are the technology i am showing here this technology will achieve using this platforms okay so it will be open source only whoever can as the technology but one thing if you need extra even more you need to pay some amount for those thing okay and then here you can see we can, what are the things we can achieve using google ai platform so we can use like cloud based machine learning or customer sentiment analysis a spam detection recommendation system sentiment analysis and purchase prediction like that we can achieve some futures using google ai platform okay so here what is the best and what is the benefits we have okay so you can use you can just see the slide so we can use like long term use guaranteed also okay so these are the best and benefits and then how we can rate this a platform you can rate this pet plat a platform for editor rating we can use 9.5 out of 10 and aggregated user rating 
uh, 8.3 okay so this is about the google ai platform the next one is tensorflow plat platform so if, if that is the future of tensorflow platform is a deep flexibility true probability connect research and production auto differentiation language option and maximum performance okay so here you can see what are the benefits and what are the what are the benefits we get okay using tensorflow and the next one just wait a minute next one tensorflow uh, the editor rating is 9.4 and then aggregated user rating is 7.4 okay then microsoft azure so we have lot of futures in microsoft azure one of the devops okay so devops is the decent technology uh, we can do with that one and then blockchains and then uh, digital media like that we can use microsoft azure and then microsoft azure have some other like best and benefits we have so here we can see 9.4 editor rating and aggregated user rating is 7.9 and then watson studio okay ibm watson studio we can use deep learning integration or any other uh, things this is the best and benefits and then watson studio rating editor rating is 8.5 and then aggregated user rating is 9.5 the watson studio then conclusion okay so i hope everybody will understood about ai technologies and then ai agents and then ai platforms also okay so these are the things we need to know if you want to know about a artificial intelligence demand technology okay so conclusion as the result we studied about ai and also studied about some of the all the concepts concept covered with each and every applications and then furthermore if you need you feel free and then ask you a doubt in comment session i will reply you for few more minutes so on one thing uh, okay and one thing we have we will share the telegram link also okay and then video description also you can share your week website links and then we have uh, we certificate attendance links i posted okay so just click the attendance link in comment box and fill the attendance link so attendance links i posted in comment box just paste sorry ka use the attendance link and then do it if you have any doubt regarding this webinar you may ask okay so thank you i will i want to tell you more information about uh, online internships okay so we are conducting an online internships about ietee pantech intensive program uh, with the partner with iet okay so institute of electronic and telecommunication engineering so if you need any internship regarding about one month or five days we will it's available okay each day two hours per day if you need one month means the cost is 4200 you can take away certificate from ietee and exams and then domain knowledge okay 
so and we have conduct, we have five days technical training program also iit institute of Tech, electronic and telecommunication engineering so if you need certificate regarding for five days you easier two hours and then 350 or 300 so based on the domain it will be changed okay so you will take away certificate and domain knowledge only okay so about this intensive and then if you need any webinar I hope some staffs will be uh, seeing this webinar. If you need this, like this webinar for your college, you may contact the faculty members of Pantech e-learning. I will tell you. Okay, so thank you and uh, thank you for this wonderful session. Session. If you need any further more upcoming event information, uh, you can you may contact on WhatsApp and then we have channel on Telegram also Pantech e-learning. You just join with us we will post our link okay so if you need any webinars or internship you may contact on mr sendul kumar mr Srinivasan, and mr kumara sami and they will help you okay so thank you all i hope everybody will, everybody will understood about this thank you manakula vinayagar engineering college okay so thank you for the it department and the staffs to conducting this wonderful webinar with pantech e-learning thank you all sorry sorry